What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I wanna to talk about an update that Samsung posted over on one of their community forums, actually in Thailand, about battery drain and One UI 5.1, because a lot of you guys have been asking me some questions about battery drain on One UI 5.1, if I've had battery drain, if I've noticed it. And um, honestly, Samsung has commented on why you might be seeing battery drain on your device running One UI 5.1. Before we do, I want to remind you guys of a couple of things. First of all, if you're interested in the wallpaper or the icon pack, they're always in the description. You can check those out. Also, if you guys are interested in saving some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my partners over at Mint Mobile. They have premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, and they also have a plan and pricing for every single person out there. In addition, they're also raising the data allotments without raising the price starting on April 14th for all of their plans. The four gigabyte plan will now be a five gigabyte plan for 15 a month. The 10 gig plan will be 15 gigs for 20 a month. The 15 gig plan will now be a 20 gig plan for 25 a month. And the unlimited plan, of course, will remain unlimited. But all their plans include unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, as well as the uh, mobile hotspot included, as I just mentioned. Also, in addition to that, it's very simple to sign up. You can either get an eSIM or a physical SIM. Just go to their website, sign up. And if you do so today by using my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer, sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan with my link, and I will personally send you a phone case of your choice from any case manufacturer, any phone. I'm doing this as a thank you. Mint's not directly doing it. Mintmobile.com slash Springer to sign up. I had a great service here with Mint the last seven months in the Phoenix area. I know you guys will enjoy it as well, and we appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, let me go back to the Google browser. Um, Sam Mobile posted an article this morning, which is actually based on this. This is the original source. I don't, I, I can actually translate this to English here so we can see the original source. Um, this community post from Thailand, it says, after updating to One UI 5.1 version, your device's battery will drain quickly. And uh, this is just a rough translated from Google, which is what Sam Mobile basically did too. It says, we've confirmed that Samsung keyboard app included in the latest version has increased battery usage. Do some additional qualifying process related to stickers and emojis. So they increase, you know, they improve some of the sticker and emoji features. Uh, to fix this, the new version of Samsung Keyboard Update was released on March 2nd, which obviously was over a month ago. Therefore, please update the keyboard version to 5.6.10.31 on your device via the Galaxy Store. And then they give you the steps to update this. It's, uh, it's very simple. And of course, I'll show you guys how to do this as well. Um, but I checked all of my devices. You guys should definitely check your devices as well. So first of all, if you wanna grab the latest update, the first thing you can do is you could do exactly what they said, but it doesn't always show up when you search. You can search Samsung keyboard here in the store and then tap on that. And then you can scroll down and find the version. And you can see the version I have installed is 5.6.10.31, which was the one that has the bug fix on March 2nd. They actually detail that they fixed the bugs. 77.09 megabyte update. So if you make sure you have that version, you're good to go. Um, if it doesn't show up for you in the Galaxy Store, what you can also do is go into Settings, find Apps, and then scroll down here to all the Samsung apps and find Samsung Keyboard. And then if you go to the bottom, this will show you the version number right there. And also, if you guys didn't realize this, you can also choose to uninstall updates from within here um, which is not something I recommend doing, but you also have the option to do that if you ever have a version that's causing you a bug um, and then you don't want to get a future update, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, if you're happy with a version, you don't want to get future bugs, you can do that too. Um, so make sure you have this version. I did check absolutely all of the information for my different phones. In fact, I have the other Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in black. Uh, and I also checked, in fact, let me check it really quick. I actually didn't check the Fold, but the Fold is one of the uh, devices that they also said were having some issues. So let me go in here and just check really quickly if I got this update. So I think if you got the April update from Samsung, which I got the April update on this one, you're gonna have this version automatically. So you guys can see right there, 5.6.10.31 on the Fold as well. So it looks like if you already got the April security patch, which on the Galaxy S23 series, was that update with the big camera improvements or supposedly big camera improvements, uh, then you should be good to go on the new version of the keyboard. But definitely double check it if you're having battery issues. Just one more thing that you can check out. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, just a quick little update today. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. 
you guys interested in checking out some premium wireless, again, sign up with my partners at Mint Mobile, mintmobile.com slash Springer. Get in touch with me. You get a free smartphone case of your choice if you sign up with my link. And uh, I appreciate you guys checking it out. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.